Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and today we are going to talk about insights. As you probably know, insight is one of the fanciest words in the business community. But do we really know what an insight is anyway? Before you jump into your favorite browser and Google it, or Bing it, let me try to help you to understand it, or at least just shed some light on it. Insights can help you understand your business. And it's probably more than just that. Insights can help you understand the business environment that you operate in and guide you to a better future. Now, in this example, better future can mean anything. It can be a better sales organization, broader reach when it comes to marketing campaign, or higher customer satisfaction with improved products and, and better solutions. And of course, it can be much, much more. Which brings us to today's topic. Why do we create reports? We create reports to draw actionable insights out of the data. Duh, sounds really dry, isn't it? It's something that you normally read in a finance or economics book. So let me try to help you understand this by walking you through an example that I put together, and it's all about FIFA. For those of you who don't know, FIFA is actually a computer game that you can play with your friends, you can select clubs or nations, and play soccer or football. To set the record straight, my friend, for privacy purposes, well, I'll just call him player one, is better in FIFA than me. He has more free time to practice, to develop new strategies and tactics. However, I have a really powerful ally on my side, and it's called data. To be honest with you, I also make a living out of analyzing data. So some may call it cheating, I call it my advantage. But enough of this talking, let's jump into it. We started recording our games in this Excel table. As you can see, it has a date field identifying games, teams, and attendance, whether our families were in the mood to watch us or not. And from column H, we have players, clubs, goals, and points. It is a rather simple table or data set to manage. After every game, it only takes 10 seconds to fill in the fields and we're good to go to our next game. I guess most of you would probably be able to navigate your way around this file, but we can agree that it is not that easy to use and more importantly, if you have a quick look, you wouldn't be able to find these very critical insights, right? But after transforming the data and applying some magic within Power BI, we can create something like this. In this video, I'm not going to talk about all the data massaging that I had to apply, as the purpose of this video is purely to talk about insights and reasons to create reports. So what do we have here? Let me start with my goal. In a nutshell, my goal with this report is to score more goals and gain more points than my friend. This will help me to win the championship and the trophy that comes with it. Before we deep dive into the details, let me introduce the report and the visuals on it. Top left corner is always reserved for the report title. At the top right corner, we have our summaries on an old fashioned stadium screen. Number of days we played, total number of games and goals we scored. In addition, most goals in a single game and highest attendance. Left hand side, we have my friend's total results. And as he usually plays with the blue controller, I assigned the color blue to him. Right hand side, you can see my total results in red. Of course, once we start slicing and dicing the report, these figures are going to update and be in sync with the selection. Our player cards reveal the number of points we have so far, the number of goals we scored, and the most goals we scored in a single game. The visual on the top shows us the number of points we gained by date. The one below shows the number of goals scored and attendance by date. And that's all. To be honest with you, there are probably more ways to visualize this data, I could add more details, but for what I need to achieve, those two visuals are more than enough. Less is sometimes more, right? You can see he has 44 points and I have 35 points. It's a start. He won three more games and scored seven more goals and I'm keen to get this back to balance. As we decided to purchase FIFA 20, we also agreed on to finish this championship which means that he won the championship 
and also took home the golden shoe, the player who scored the most goals. After all this intro, I have to answer the most important question of all. How do I manage to draw actionable insights from all of that? Using this report, I was able to identify that even though my friend plays on a higher level, there are certain leagues where he has no chance whatsoever. I can use this knowledge to have a better start in FIFA 20. If we go through the games that we played with clubs first, you can see 9 leagues. Actually it's just 8 as we played one mixed leagues game. And honestly, my OCD kicked in after I saw the first Power BI report of this dataset and to this day I'm refusing to play another mixed game. But anyways, so clubs. When it comes to the French league, let's agree to skip it immediately. I would say poor team choices from my end. Next, Germany. It was definitely better at first, but the last time we played, he led the way. Maybe Italy is going to be a bit better for me. Yes and no. Although I scored more goals from a league perspective, when it comes to points gained, it is a draw. When we played mixed league games, he scored three times more goals and gained all the points from our two games. So again, we are never going to play mixed games. Portugal. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's clear to see immediately that red dominates. It's not just about the number of goals, I scored 9 and he scored 6. But also, look at the points gained. I managed to take home 8 points while he only scored 2. This is one of the insights that I was looking for. We will come back to this later. Random league. Which means that we used Excel to randomly generate a league for us. This information won't be too useful for me. We only tried it for fun on the last day of our competition. How about Russia? Nah, blue bars are just simply too high. Scotland? Perfect draw. Both of us gained 3 points, scored 5 goals and managed to score 4 goals in a single game. So again, not ideal for me. And now we arrive to the Spanish league. Just like in Portugal, those red bars are as high as a skyscraper. In one game, I was able to demolish him with 7 goals. In a single game. Can you imagine this? Once again, another insight that I will be able to use. Ok, so far we saw the Portuguese and the Spanish leagues are the ones where I dominated the game. Let's have a quick look at our international not so friendlies. Even without further slicing and dicing the report, we can see that international games are not as good for me as Iberian games. Just by seeing this data visually represented in this format, I know that the next time we play, I need to ask for games in the Spanish or the Portuguese leagues. And this is my actionable insight. I was able to use this report to find those crucial details that will allow me to win more games in FIFA 20. Now it's time to execute. Let me try to summarize all of this. Being able to draw those insights out of this Power BI report will give me the advantage to be better in FIFA 20. Win more games, score more goals, and who knows, maybe at the end of the next championship holding the trophy up high and going back home with the golden shoe. I hope you have a better understanding about the insights now, even if we went through a non-business related topic. Now I just have to remember not to share the video and the report with my friend. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video make sure to hit that like button, subscribe so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned and see ya!